Germany's Angela Merkel is coming to Israel with no carrots nor sticks to present before the government in Jerusalem. The four-time chancellor, now facing growing challenges to her coalition at home, will likely encounter no less opposition as she meets with Prime Minister Netanyahu to discuss trade, security, and the Iran nuclear deal. It will be the 17th time the governments of both states meet for consultations, a tradition that goes back to 2007. But last year's talks were canceled officially because of scheduling issues and unofficially due to Merkel's disapproval of the expansion of Jewish settlements in the West Bank. Relations between the countries since improved, but the stumbling blocks remain. The largest is Germany's insistence to rescue the Iran nuclear deal with continued trade with Tehran. Netanyahu has slammed this policy of appeasement, urging European leaders to join the new U.S. sanctions. But Trump's unwavering support of Netanyahu isn't his only friendship that irks Merkel. The Israeli leader's close ties to Merkel's EU rivals, like Hungary's Viktor Orban, weigh on the relationship. Berlin has also been very critical of recent steps by the Netanyahu government, including passing the controversial nation-state bill and the planned removal of Khan al-Ahmal, a Bedouin village near Jerusalem. In her weekly podcast, Merkel stated her intention to discuss with Netanyahu cooperation in the fields of IT, cybersecurity, and scientific research. And naturally, we will also talk about the complicated political situation. Germany supports, as before, a two-state solution with a Jewish state, Israel, and a state for the Palestinians. The chancellor, on the other hand, will also have to prove that she is taking steps against the rise of the far right and the increase in anti-Semitic incidents in her country. This won't be easy. Polls show the populist Alternative for Germany party becoming the second largest, while Merkel is losing support. If the election were held today, she and her coalition partners could not have formed a government. Befriending Netanyahu won't win Merkel more votes. But for the chancellor that described Israel's security as part of Germany's national interest, some things are beyond politics.